Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at sharing calendars with iCloud. Sharing calendars with iCloud is pretty simple. There are two types of shared calendars. One is a public calendar. This is where you can add events to it, but to everybody else it's read only and everybody else can easily view this calendar. There's also a shared calendar where you and others can add events and new people can only see the calendar and add events to it by invitation. Let me show you. So here we are in iCal in Lion. Now you can view your calendars by clicking on calendars here. You can see I've got one default iCloud calendar. To create a new one I go to File, New Calendar and select iCloud. And then I can name the calendar. So I'm going to name this one Public Shared. And now I've got this new calendar here. I'm going to Control click on the calendar and go to Share Calendar. And this brings up this dialog box here. I can share it with a different name if I want and set it to everybody or only the people I invite. Now if I set it to everyone and I share it, now I can once again go in here, control click on it and get info. And here is a URL at iCloud.com that I could send to other people uh, to uh, let them subscribe to the calendar. Uh, notice I could also go in here and uh, send invitations. So this will open mail up and allow me to send out a invitation and it has the URL right in here. Now let's say you got an invitation to subscribe to a public calendar. Uh, so I've actually got one of those. I've copied it to the buffer from the email and I'm going to go to calendar subscribe and I'm going to paste in this URL here and hit subscribe. And you can see information about it. I can select whether or not I want to remove alerts, say, or attachments from it, um, and how often I want to auto refresh. Click OK, and you can see it's been added. There's actually an event right here. I can click on that event, and that is something that's on that shared calendar there. If I click on calendars here, I could see that I've got a subscription to Gary's Public Share, which I just subscribed to. So this is how you could set up, say, if you've got a school or a sports team or something else and you want to set up a public calendar, you can do that and then if other people subscribe to the calendar, you update the events and other people that subscribe to it will automatically get these updates and see these events in their calendar as long as they have it selected right there. Now you can also create a calendar that's shared with only a limited number of people and many people can read and write to it. So let's create a new calendar, iCloud. Uh, we'll call it, uh, let's say, uh, Shared Work Calendar. Maybe it's shared with a work group. Um, and then control click on it, Share Calendar, and then set it to only people you invite. You can then invite uh, some people put their iCloud accounts in there and you can set them uh, you can see here to uh, the privileges read and write for instance so that once you've established this calendar other people can actually update events in it and add events to it and then everybody in the group would see the update. And of course you aren't restricted to just using iCloud for this. There are other calendar services like Google Calendars that allow you to share calendars and you can use them with iCal. You just have to set up a Google account in the system preferences and then you have the ability to work with those in iCal as well. And of course the advantage of that is if somebody isn't using iCloud, perhaps they're not even using a Mac, uh, you can still share calendars. And you can also establish calendar services on your own on your own server, perhaps your school or company already does this. So there are a lot of different options. Hope you found this look at sharing calendars with iCloud useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.